I'm Associate Dean Riley White, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies for today's graduation. Allow me to introduce our distinguished guests who will be seated on stage. Please hold your applause, applause until all have been acknowledged. Mitzi Montoya, Dean of the Anderson School of Management. Bill Stanley, UNM Associate Provost for Faculty Success. Jay Shaw is today's special guest alumni speaker. And Langston Murray is our student speaker. Now I would like to introduce the faculty as they approach the stage. From the Department of Accounting, Richard Brody, Angela Ikofo, Nazrul Islam, Ryan Knight, Matthias Sokolovsky, Robert Tepper. From the Department of Finance and Innovation, Raj Mato Chair, 
Debbie Banks, Kelly Cowan, Subu Iyer, Ixava Neumeyer, Emma Shu. From the Department of Management, Michelle Arthur, Chair, Manuel Montoya, Chris Wynn, Karen Patterson, Trevor Spelma, and Bill Zaroleta. And from the Department of Marketing, Information, and Decision Sciences, Mary Margaret Rogers, Chair, Dimitri Capellianis, Han Lee, Lama Latif, Borshu Tan, Chunlin Wang. Please join me in welcoming our very distinguished guests who have joined me on stage. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mitzi Montoya, Dean of the Anderson School of Management. Thank you, Riley. Welcome, everyone, to the Fall 2022 Convocation of the Anderson School of Management at the University of New Mexico. As Anderson's Dean, I'm delighted to celebrate this wonderful event with all of you. Academic events embrace tradition like few others in our society, and we're fortunate to be able to host this event with you today. Our music today is provided by UNM's very talented Sandia Brass Quintet. Thank you all. I'd like to start by giving an opportunity to the parents, families, and friends who are here today to recognize their graduates. What an accomplishment they've made and you've made supporting them. Please take a moment to express your pride and admiration for your graduates. <laughs> and the students here graduating today, you owe a debt of gratitude to all of those who are here supporting you and those who could not be here who have supported you throughout your academic journey. I'd ask you to please stand and turn toward your loved ones and take a moment to express your thanks to them now. Please be seated. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the Anderson faculty and staff, some of whom are here on the podium with me and around and guiding us today. I want to thank them for all of their diligent hard work through courses you've taken, advising you, mentoring you, providing career resources and internship opportunities, and offering extracurricular opportunities to round out all of your educational experiences. You all could not have reached this point without them, so please join me in thanking our faculty and staff. Now I'd like to introduce two students who have excelled and finished their programs with the distinction of having the highest GPAs. Our graduate level professional banner carrier is Blair Larson. She's receiving a Master of Accounting degree today. Congratulations, Blair. And Mingyin Zhang is our undergraduate processional banner carrier and has earned a Bachelor of Business Administration degree. Blair, Mingyin, and every graduate who is marking this milestone in your life today, you've worked long and hard to achieve this goal. You've dealt with the pressing demands of your job, your families, your student leadership, your social commitments, your family, your athletic achievements, and the relentless demands of your studies. Some of that hard work has taken place during a global health crisis, which we know added even more pressure. On a day like today, though, we forget the difficulties for a moment and simply celebrate. This celebration means so much to all of us, 
all of you who've come here together today, all the friends and relatives who couldn't be here today, but who I know wish you well from afar as well. Graduates, you all may be leaving us physically here from Anderson today, but in fact, you'll carry Anderson with you together throughout your career. Not only will you carry the knowledge and skills you've gained as you confront the challenges of this century, you also carry forward the friendships and the mentorships that you've cultivated in an ever-widening professional community. Anderson, we hope, is not just a memory for you, but a legacy of learning that we hope you continue as you contribute to this state and beyond. In joining the ranks of more than 24,000 Anderson alumni, you'll find graduates virtually everywhere, throughout New Mexico, throughout the country, and throughout the world. We hope you'll stay in touch and keep us informed of all the great things that we know you're going to do. It's now my pleasure to introduce our guest alumni speaker, Jay Shaw. Jay received his MBA from Anderson in 2018, and he's been with DreamStyle Remodeling for over seven years, currently as their director of marketing. Throughout his career, he's gained national industry recognition. In addition to managing DreamStyle's direct response marketing strategy, Jay spends a considerable amount of his time volunteering with various local nonprofits. He's a marketing chair and a board member for Young Professionals of Albuquerque, a founding board member for the Asian Business Collaborative, and a member of the Anderson Alumni Council. He's contributed to the book Financial Literacy for Immigrants and Refugees, which he co-authored and edited with a group of professionals for the Refugee and Immigrant Wellbeing Project. In February, Jay was featured as a local leader in Albuquerque Business First's New Mexicans to Know, and was also named a 40 Under 40 winner of 2022 by Pro Remodeler, a national distribution publication for the professional remodeling industry. Please join me in welcoming Jay Shaw. Good morning, graduates. Thank you, Dean Montoya, for the wonderful introduction. And a huge thank you to the faculty, staff, parents, family, and other loved ones that are able to be in attendance today to celebrate the accomplishments of these fine graduates. It's an honor to be up here as a speaker for Anderson's fall 2022 graduating class. I've sat where you are all sitting now, twice before, so I know a little of what it took for you to get here today. I was in this room. I sat in those uncomfortable chairs, and I prayed for the hangover to wear off. So I'll try to keep this short for you guys. And I had that same feeling of accomplishment and excitement for the future that I hope you are all experiencing right now. As Dean Montoya mentioned, my name is Jay Shaw, and I am a proud Anderson alum. While all the various accreditations, superior rankings, and statistics are great, it's not why I attended Anderson. I attended for the faculty and staff that Anderson is lucky to have. Professors like Dimitri Kaplianis and Riley White, just to name a couple, are what made my time at Anderson memorable and truly motivated me to be a better student, person, and community leader. My time at Anderson, under the guidance of the professors, showed me that there is an unfettered, raw desire to improve the world around them, and this continues to motivate me every day. I can't think of a better value proposition for a college to boast. Before I moved to New Mexico, I had lived in nine different states making New Mexico my 10th. Having had the chance to live in 10 states isn't something most people can claim at 18 years of age. I consider this unique life trait as an advantage as it has colored my experiences and contextualized what I value in a community. I came to Albuquerque in 2012 to start at UNM as a region scholar, not really knowing what to expect. And let me tell you, it was a bit of a culture shock coming from the Midwest. Tumbleweeds are a real thing, not just something you see in cartoons. And I'm embarrassed to admit this, but the first time a waiter asked me red or green, I thought she was legitimately curious what my favorite color was. <laughs> they should warn you what that means. At the beginning of this journey, I never imagined I would make Albuquerque my home. But throughout my undergraduate experience, I fell in love with Albuquerque's culture, natural beauty, and most importantly of all, the food. The community here is welcoming, diverse, and complex. With that said, there are still many challenges we face as a state. One being New Mexico has a large immigrant and refugee population 
These families flee their home countries to seek safety, economic opportunity, freedom, and a better life. One of the biggest challenges they face when they arrive here is how to navigate the intricacies of our personal finance institutions. In 2020, Dr. White lit the bat signal, asking who would be interested in developing a guidebook that would provide culturally astute, individually tailored financial literacy education to marginalized populations within our community. As a second generation immigrant, I pounced at the chance to be able to assist folks in the same situation my parents found themselves in 35 years prior. This initiative, driven alongside the UNM Refugee and Immigrant Wellbeing Project, brought together a group of Anderson contributors with the sole purpose of securing a brighter financial future for immigrants and their families. And no, I don't get a royalty for every copy sold, although that'd be nice. <laughs> Albuquerque has shown me that everyone here has a voice, regardless of who you know or where you come from, and its community leaders value those diverse schools of thought. This is why I've decided to stay in Albuquerque and why I will con continue to strive to make an impact in New Mexico. Albuquerque is a microcosm for the world. With, that, with what we have learned here at Anderson, we have the ability to apply all aspects of our knowledge, from marketing, finance, entrepreneurship, and more. We can make a tangible difference. New Mexico is ripe for development, and we are fortunate to have the conditions that will support our efforts to help grow. As I look upon this group of talented individuals, I become excited about all the possibilities. Each and every one of you has had unique experiences that have led you here. Experiences that the person sitting next to you hasn't had, your professors haven't had, your future employer hasn't had, I haven't had, and that has shaped who you are, the skills you've acquired, and what you have to offer your community. Through Anderson, I actually discovered the opening for marketing intern at Dreamstyle Remodeling. More than seven years later now, I'm Dreamstyle's Director of Marketing. Through the Alumni Association and broad network Anderson has to offer, I've had the gratifying opportunity to work closely with Albuquerque's future leaders as through Young Professionals of Albuquerque, where I sit as Vice President. I'm lucky to be on the Anderson Alumni Board, where I get the opportunity to work with students as a mentor every semester. I'm a founding board member of Asian Business Collaborative, where we frequently have people come in to champion API small owned businesses, including the Deputy Assistant to President Biden. I have found what I love in the place that I love. You need to do the same. It's important what you do gives meaning to your life and you do something in which you believe. And for those of you who may be returning home out of state or looking to experience something new, look around the room, up here on stage, and know that you have a strong network and support system to help you make positive change around the world. I hope you take what you've learned here and as Howard Thurman said, don't ask what the world needs, ask what makes you come alive and go do it because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Thank you. Thank you so much to Jay for that outstanding speech. It is now my honor to introduce Langston Murray, our guest student speaker. Langston Murray was born and raised in Logansport, Louisiana. A hard-working individual, he came to UNM as a student athlete, a full scholarship Lobo football player, and he has grown into being an outstanding businessman. Known as friendly and kind-hearted, he has befriended many people in his time here in Albuquerque. He is passionate about advocating for student-athlete success beyond their respective sports. In fact, during his graduate studies, Langston has served on the board of UNM Student Athletes in Action Committee, which is UNM's Student Athlete Leadership Group. This committee addresses issues such as academics, student athlete welfare, community service, university relations, and career development. Langston is now a technology and economic development specialist at Sandia National Laboratories. A proud letterman and alumnus of UNM Lobo football as defensive lineman number 54, he also co-hosts the Lobo Pod podcast, which is available on all platforms. Please join me in welcoming Langston Murray. Thank you, Riley, for that awesome introduction. Good morning, you all. It is a pleasure to be here, as well as share this special opportunity. Um, I came 
to UNM back in June of 2017. Um, just an 18-year-old kid from Logansport, Louisiana. You can ask my family. I was born and raised on a farm, right? We're talking feeding pigs and cows before I go to school. Growing up, you know, I was always told places were too far. We were always scared of the unknown. Being in Albuquerque, New Mexico currently, I'm 12 hours away from home. But I prided myself on doing such by putting myself on an island, right? Um, to where there's no retreat. When things get hard, there's no going back to square one. Anything worth having in life is gonna take significant effort. The theme for this brief speech I wanna to provide to you today is fall forward. I just wanna provide a few words of encouragement and motivation as we transition into our respective careers. We did not start knowing the answer to every problem. In fact, we took on challenges that many de determined impossible to overcome. It is not meant for everyone to understand the visions we have set for, for ourselves. There's a common statement when we take a risk. Say you're telling someone that you're close to, that you vent to, an opportunity that you see fit for yourself. And, and we've all heard the response, make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you have a plan B. Today I encourage you to fall forward. So at least in that way you know what you're gonna hit. Nelson Mandela once said, there's no passion to be found playing small and selling for a life less than one that you're capable of living. Upon being notified that I have this speech, I Googled notable failures. And one that caught my eye was Thomas Edison, Thomas Edison conducted 1,000 failed experiments. I didn't know that, I didn't know that. The reason I didn't know that is because on the thousand and first, he created the light bulb, fall forward. As we all reflect on the journey we took to be here today, let it, let it serve as a reminder that, that good things do come from the demanding work, dedication that we put in. It is in our toughest moments of triumph and ob obstacles that we shall remember that this is what separates us from being average. Things that are worth having do not come easy. To whom much is given, much is required. Some of you have dreamed of this day since you were in elementary school. Others may consider this a last minute Hail Mary or a shot in the dark. And I'll be honest, I'm one of those. Um, you know, my identity was an athlete. I was a football player, that's what I wanted to be. And I took school serious. But my end goal was to be a professional NFL football player. At some point, something changed in me. I felt like I was more. A lot of people didn't see it. Some did, we all have people in our corner that believe in us, but you all also know that everyone doesn't see it. I've told it I was, I was a football player. And this is where it's time to validate your vision. If you know you're passionate enough about it, if you're willing to figure out how the worst became the worst, the best became the best and everything in between, then you will be the best. The difference we have made in the in lives of others, our families, our friends, as well as strangers we have crossed paths with, defined who we are. As we reflect on the memories and hardships we have faced over this journey, let it serve as hope for the future. Anderson has prepared us for the next generation of business professionals. Let's continue to pave the way and set the standard for those to come after us, as well as make those who came before us proud. I wanna leave you with this one equation. I know we're all business students, so we've seen our fair share of math, I'd imagine, right? This last equation I want you to use throughout life. E plus R equals O. The E is gonna be the event. That's what happens. We work hard enough and still didn't get the grade we wanted. Maybe we didn't get the job we wanted. That's the event, that's what happened. That's the first thing and, and we can't control it. E plus R, which is your reaction. How do you react? Do you react above the line or do you react below the line? Do you give up? or do you pull positivity from a negative event? E plus R equals O, which is your outcome. It's been an honor studying with you all today. 
Thank you so much. Class of 22, congratulations. Go Lobos. Thank you, Langston. Next on our program is the presentation of the class of 2022. Each degree recipient will receive a diploma cover as a gift from the Anderson School of Management to welcome them to the distinguished ranks of Anderson School and University of New Mexico alumni. Will the MBA candidates please stand and come forward as directed by the ushers. Langston Murray. Lauren Clapati. Martin Collar. Courtney Love. Victoria Hernandez. Shelby Rose Morgan. Adeline Ruiz Olivas. Kyle Lewicki. Vishal Patel. Marissa Maestas. Rachel Gordon. Christopher Rackley. Deanna Young. Tatiana Nasiri. Michael Gillespie. Marcus Jaramillo. Vincent Montoya. Muhammad Asif Oscar. Miguel Almeida. Jared Pollock. Leland Ben. Gokul Rajesh Padmanabhan. Matthew Schimmel. Caitlin Mitchell. Adam Biederwolf. Anna Evanitz. Anna! Hayden Wilson. Luke Quinn. Jessica Quinn. Yes! McLean David Cordero Hollerbach. <laughs> Valerie Wing. <laughs> Maya Henna. Maya! Adam Gay. Alexandra Crespo Ramirez. 
Rachel Romero. Rachel! Darish Totigru. Would all of us join me in congratulating our MBA graduates? I am now pleased to introduce the Master of Accounting degree candidates. Would you please stand and come forward as directed by the ushers? Sarah Ripberger. <laughs> Regina Lopez. Rumana Karim. Ian Chisholm. Elizabeth Lee. Deanna. Mendoza, <laughs> Carrie Barney, Christopher Graham, Claire McRory, Sarah Bell, Ball, excuse me, Shay Roccaforte. Jose Robert Casaus, Cassandra Lucero, Taylor Mezajewski, Serena Duran, Blair Larson. Congratulations to our Master of Accounting graduates. <laughs> Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Cybersecurity and Business Analytics come forward as directed by the ushers? Adrian Franco. Bobby McMullen. George Hernandez. Sharla Orozco. Allison Sanchez. Victoria Valdez. Naveen Pandey, Ryan Rivera, Joshua Gourley,
Congratulations to our Master of Science in Cybersecurity and Business Analytics graduates. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Information Systems and Assurance come forward as directed by the ushers? Darish Totiger. Nicole Miles. Frank Roybal. Stacy Chesney. Christopher Velasquez. Congratulations to our Master of Science in Information Systems and Assurance graduates. Now, will the candidates for the Master of Science in Project Management degree come forward as directed by the ushers? Ashton Megaris. Esteban Valdez. Jeremy Benali. Brian Foster. Marianne Baragon. Madison Garrett. Joseph Romero. Jonathan Zambrano. Marky Lee Martinez. Alexandru Stoika. George Palomino. Isaac Finn. Michael Marquez. Tanya Vandenbush. Jennifer Lopez. Gabrielle Vigil. Leslie Herrera. Allison Flack. Congratulations to our Master of Science in Project Management graduates. Before we begin awarding our BBA degrees, we would like to acknowledge the BBA candidates who have earned honors designations. If you have earned the distinction of cum laude, would you please stand?
Congratulations. You may now be seated. If you have earned the designation of magna cum laude, would you please stand? Congratulations. And if you have earned the designation of summa cum laude, will you please stand? Congratulations, and what an amazing display of exemplary hard work. And now, on to the awarding of the bachelor degree. Would the Bachelor of Business Administration degree candidates please stand and come forward as directed by the ushers. Celeste Lucero, Brenda Esparza Perez, Matthew Sanchez, John Alvarez, Ian U. Duoste, Angela Garcia. Hope Sanchez, Jeffrey Shalendawa, Hunter Pimpura Tana, Domenico Rodriguez, Joaquin Camancho, Jaren. Montoyo, Daniela Freeman, Juliana Ortiz, Daniel Rodriguez, Anna Martina Hutado, Celia Montoya, Dunica Gonzalez, Wes Alexanderson, Miguel Montoya, Christopher Esquibel, Emma Cyborn, Jasmina Flores. Zachary Beatty, Mingguang Zheng, Isaiah Whitmore, Catherine Nevitt, Gina Anderson. Christopher Yella, Navneet Marcella, Eva Treviso, Connor Jenel, Jaquela Smith, Jasmine Johnson. 
Jessica Ruiz. Grace Carey. Camila Batista. Sebastian Fidalgo. Nara Sherendev. Destiny Martinez. Shaylee Milton. Jada Saavedra. Christopher De Jesus. Anthony Aguilar Pichete. Jared Sierra. Brianna Mitchell. Nozan Crosby. Juliana Andrada Brito. Eli Shua Larga. Phoenix Garcia Young. Swill Ibanez. Alexa Forrest. Roan Conley. Dongji Zhang. Kimberly Benoli. Emmanuel De Santiago. Alexander Urban. Ricky Selmeyer. Jake Saltonstall. Rose Crum. Lauren Jones. Shaylin Caudell. Caitlin Marie Bernard. Jesse Ledger. Koi Abeta. Oscar Corona. Zachariah Joe. Yvette Tafoya. Dominique Martinez. Sophia Salazar. Teresa Rodriguez. Matthew Coven Sanchez. Augustina Margarita Valdez. Sofia Alvarez. Jay Moirongtem. Alex Munoz. Daniela Rodriguez. Congratulations to our BBA class of 2022. Lastly, we are hosting a reception for all of our graduates and guests here on the third floor in the club level lounge following the ceremony. Please exit to the east side concourse 
go up the stairs or elevators in the main entrance. Anderson staff members are located at each level to help guide you. Once again, a heartfelt congratulations to all of Anderson's newest graduates. Have fun tonight, but please be responsible. Will the audience please remain seated until stage guests and graduates have left the arena. Please meet your graduates on the East Concourse. Thank you all so very much for attending the Fall 2022 Convocation Ceremony for the Anderson School of Management.